Alright guys, I'm going to make this real quick so I can throw something on the YouTube up later. So, this is going to be a quick explanation of uh, the build I'm running. <clears throat> it's real close to the Tyson build, actually. I do plan to change it in the future, but I've had a lot of success with it. The reason I'm going to make this video is it's a pretty accessible setup. It's not hard to get this setup uh, armor item-wise. I've been rocking this pretty much throughout Imperial City. I switched to this like about two weeks in. Um, I became happy with this setup. So let's just explain it real quick. I run a five piece Ravager right now. This set is really nice. It's not that expensive. It's not that hard to get. It's a little expensive if you're struggling on money. But um, same thing again as the Tyson build. What's different about the Tyson build in this one? is that all three of these jewelry pieces here are enchanted for stam regen. That's really big, that's really important. This is the Tyson build over here, it has the weapon damage enchants. We're gonna drop those, we need the recovery for an open world build. So we have five piece Ravager there. Next we have Hunting's Rage, we got it one, two, three, four, and then the fifth comes on two weapons here, okay? So we always have five-piece Ravager either on this bar or this bar. <clears throat> the reason we do that is because we have a one-piece Moloch Kina. Eventually I'm going to switch to a two-piece Moloch Kina. I'm going to be dropping Hundings probably. I may also drop Ravager. That'll be a new video, a new build, a new day. But I'm going to explain this one because, again, people can get this set up. It's not that hard. Uh, you could alternatively get the Helm from White Gold Tower. And then if you don't have the shoulders from... Um, from uh, pledges. Even if you don't have the shoulders, you can put in like blood spawn shoulders or something here. You can do a nice one piece. Okay? So that's your armor setup. We're going to run drink on this build. That's important. And I'm sitting at about 21k health, 26k stamina. Uh, so let's go over the skill bar. Okay? First one, our two hander. Again, it's going to be pretty damn similar. We have crit rush first one. This is like my bread and butter bar. I've been doing this since 1.6, so if you're watching me, you know this bar. Crit ch or Actually, it's not crit charge right now, actually. It's Stampede. And I'm kind of liking Stampede. Reason being, I fight a lot of people. When I fight other melees and we get into a wrecking blow battle and I Stampede them, they're moving slow and I'm moving really fast, I can move through them and uppercut them. And they can't track me because I'm moving too quick. That gives me a really big advantage. So I'm liking Stampede. I might switch to Crit Rush, but Stampede's legit. It works pretty well. Uh, next we have Streak, which is going to be like our mobility, escape, utility skill and fights. Third one is our Uppercut. Okay. Wrecking Blow. Fourth is Rally, which we're going to use as a heal over time, and we're going to use it as a burst heal when I'm in fights. I might be 20 seconds into the fight and I got messed up. I might pop a pot and rally, I might just rally, it really depends. But we're constantly going to use rally as much as we can to burst heal. And then executioner at the end here. I have storm Atronarch on the ult, reason being is we're going to take advantage of the Daedric summoning passive. Um, specifically the health and stand recovery by 20% here. Okay, So we want that, we want that big time. Atronarch's also not bad. I have the greater storm Atronarch, it lasts longer. This is not bad at all, especially when you're fighting people that just want to tank you and block, and you're fighting and you're you're stuck in one area, or if you fight someone that can reflect meteor, which I use on the other bar, I'll just drop the Atronarch. Atronarch's not bad at all. So, bang, that's that bar. Number two, Steel Tornado, on the dual wield. This is pretty much the only damage skill on this bar. This is kind of our buff bar. Um, I don't use an overload in this setup. You'll see that in like dual setups, smaller PvP setups. It might be in my next build, uh, depending what route I decide to go with my next sets. <clears throat> um, shuffle number two. Shuffle's really great. Gives you evasion, which is which is nice. Uh, it lasts for 23 seconds. It says there. Um, so that's a good amount of time that you don't have to keep buffing it, but you will keep buffing it whenever you get slowed. You want to rip off those slows or immobilizes with with a uh, shuffle. Number three, we have lightning form, which is in Boundless Storm. This is the one that costs Magicka. The one that costs stamina is too hard. It's going to hurt your stamina too much. I would never recommend it. Go with the magic.